Hi everyone, here is our math riddle for today. Some of our followers are debating on how to solve this viral problem. And so we created this video. Here is the problem. A man buys a goat for $60. Then he sells it for $70. Then he buys it again for $80 and sells it again for $90. How much did he make? You can pause the video and see if you can analyze this math riddle. And if you already know your answer to this problem, please write them in our comment section. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin with the man buying this goat for $60. From the point of view of the man, since he bought the goat and the money is going out, let's denote it as negative 60 and the color pink means the money is going out. It's an expense. Then the same goat is sold by the man for $70. And so at this point, the man has a profit of $10. Then after selling the goat, the man buys it back for $80 now. And so the man has to pay an additional $10 in order to buy the same goat. Then he sold the goat for $90. So that means he has a profit of $10. So the main question now in this riddle is how much did the man make? Does he make $30, $20, $10, or zero or break even? Now problems like this where you are keeping track of the profit or the running balance is oftentimes very confusing. And the best way to analyze this is just to gather all your expenses and gather all your revenues. So let's group together all the expenses. The man bought it for $60. So that's a money that's going away. And the second time, he also bought the same goat for $80. So the total expenses is negative 60 plus negative 80 equals negative $140. Then the first time he sold the goat, he sold it for $70. And the second time he sold the goat, he sold it for $90. So there is a total amount of $160 for his revenue. And subtracting revenue minus expenses, that gives him the profit of $20. So the answer to this riddle must be $20. Now, why are there so many people answering 30, 10, or 0? Let's analyze their thinking process, how they arrive at those numbers. So for those who answered $30, this is what they're thinking. The man spent $60 to buy the goat for the first time. And at the end of all these transactions, he pocketed $90. And therefore, from the capital of $60 to the final revenue of $90, there is a profit of $30. Now, what's the problem with that approach? The problem with that is notice that somewhere here, when he sold the goat for 70, he has $70 now. But when he bought it back for $80, he has to spend an additional $10 because he has only $70 here. He needs another $10 from his own money to be able to afford to buy it for $80. So in effect, he is not only spending $60, but he is also spending another $10 a total of $70, and so 90 minus that $70, the profit is $20, not $30. Now, why are there some people answering $10? This is the reasoning. You have a profit here of 10, you lose $10, that's zero, and then you profit again $10, so the final profit is $10. There is a problem also in this reasoning, because this $10 and this $10, they are different money. This negative 10 here is an additional money from the man. And this $10 is not this negative 10 here. And so you cannot just subtract these two because you need to keep track where those monies are coming from. Now, why are some people answering break even? Their reasoning is because you buy it, you sold it, you buy it, you sold it, you buy it, you sold it. And in all those transactions, there is the same profit and loss, profit and loss. And so they are thinking, after all these transactions, nothing is gained, nothing is lost. Although some people are also asking, you have to pay for the tax, 
you have to pay for the food of the goat and some of the other expenses that come with owning the goat. But in this riddle, we disregard all those other tiny details. We just focus on the amount spent and the amount received from all the transactions. And so to reiterate our answer, our answer is 20 because in order to analyze this, just add together all those expenses and that is equal to $140 and add all the revenues and that is equal to $160 and subtracting the revenue minus the expenses that gives us a profit of $20. So thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.